just shy, it's maybe 30 seconds shy, and I'm talking to you today from um, the beach. Well, the beach is 40 metres out there. So thank you for joining me, those in early. Uh, tell me, how's the audio? I'm using a new setup. My son got me a nice little microphone, and I'm pretty excited because it allows me to very easily connect uh, that microphone. So I look forward to your feedback on that. And coming up a little bit later on, if you're a videographer or a videographer, I might have some good news for you. Could be some money in your pocket. Hello, Republic of Airstrip. Uh, I've got my wrong glasses on, but that'll be a problem for me, not for you. It's 3.59 where Senna is. And thank you very much for making the time to join me live today. Uh, what's the weather like in Western Australia? It's hot. 33 degrees, it was 39 yesterday. Bit of a breeze blowing here. Uh, and um, 2 p.m. where Mark is godly is located. So we have, uh, I think, four or five of the teams have announced their dates for releasing their cars in February. And I'll be heading across to Bahrain, um, February 21 or 22, I think it is, for testing. And that should be fantastic this year because, of course, we have uh, Logan Sargent, Nick DeVries, Nico Hulkenberg heading back. Uh, and that's going to be exciting. A change. Change is good, huh? And uh, Nicole is in southeast Queensland. Pretty humid, it always is up there. Mark is godly. Thank you for becoming a backer. Oh, and I'll get in early. See this? Anyone want this signed picture from Sergio Perez? Because I'm going to be giving this away. Now, I won't be giving it away today, but uh, it'll be open to all of my members. And thank you to Matthew, who's uh, popped in with a super chat early on. But yes, that picture will be given away to one of my members and it'll be prior to the start of the season, only available to YouTube members. Now, I'm interested to see who from the US is online because, uh, what are we here, 11 a.m.? I must, it must be, what, 11 p.m. in New York and maybe 8 p.m. in Los Angeles. Hello, Adelaide. I used to live in Adelaide. And uh, Michael's from Albert Park. Are you a supporter of Formula One, Michael, or were you against it when they had all those protests down there around the track? I gather, because you're here, you're probably for it. Raining horizontally in Wollongong, middle of summer, and I'm wearing a cardigan. Yeah, and Melbourne was pretty cold the other day, 32 one day and 13 the next, but that's Melbourne. 10 p.m. in Kentucky. Now, I... <clears throat> Nashville. That's... I was considering, Ryan, coming to Nashville for a NASCAR race in an off weekend when I'm in the US. Don't know whether I will do it. Oh, thank you, Ronald Van Irvin, who's been a member for eight months. And he says, Happy New Year, 10 p.m. in Florida. I'll be in Florida once, maybe? No, once, definitely for the race. And then I'm doing um, a transfer through Miami for, from somewhere to somewhere later in the year. But yeah, I was interested in going to Kentucky on the weekend that there is a NASCAR race. And I'll probably go and photograph the Indy race at um, Indianapolis, because I have some uh, nice friends and contacts. Now, I'm videoing this in my upstairs music room stroke video studio, and the lighting's okay, but I've just bought a brand new light, and it's only arrived, and it arrived 15 minutes before this started. Andrew Taylor, thank you for becoming a backer of the channel, and you will be eligible to win this print because all of my members at the time we run this competition could win this and I'll post it anywhere in the world except for a couple of countries which is a nightmare they just never get through uh, and if you're from that country those countries you probably know that getting stuff from overseas is near impossible anyway so I've got this brand new light and it arrived minutes before I started this so I'm just sort of drawn I want to speak to you but I also want to go and open up this light and see what difference it makes. I think it will make an enormous difference. And I wonder if I change that, does it? No, that doesn't do anything. What's my favorite race, Jeffrey? Uh, for photography wise, it is Monaco. And I've got a couple, uh, and for, one, for those of you wondering what videos are coming up, because it's quiet season here, it's pretty much pointless to anything F1. There's no interest in F1 in terms of YouTube videos, but I will be, and I've already got lined up, um, some travel videos, I've got my favourite nine lounges, my favourite nine flights last year. 
Why nine? Because it's one less character for the thumbnail and is a bit easier on the eye. Uh, what else have I got? I've got um, some driver profiles lined up of Logan Sargent, Nick DeVries. I've got a profile of every single F1 trainer in one video. I've got another video where I talk about every single race throughout the year, which I think you'll enjoy. I might have to cut that up into three separate videos um, because it'll otherwise run 29 minutes. Perth Luxury. I picked up something from Kennedy before Christmas again. Good luck to you, my friend. This man is a, an avid uh, watch collector. And Kennedy's is a jeweler where I've got a couple of watches from, right here in Perth in Western Australia. Do a live unboxing of the light. I could do that. Uh, okay. Yeah, Nemo. I will, um, I will do that. What a good idea. Editing software do I use? For video, I use Final Cut Pro, but I'm probably going to have to change to Premiere. And for photography, I use Photo Mechanic and Lightroom. Here's what I've got. Are you a, video are you a videographer? Can you edit, shoot, produce video? Because this year, here's what I'm doing. Every single race, I'm going to do a video about my travel there. And I also want, oh, excuse me a second, uh, Marcus Godley says prediction for Alpha and Red Bull next year. Alpha, uh, Alpha Tauri that is, I see them going up one position and Red Bull staying on top. That's my prediction and thank you for your super chat. Videograph, videographer, I want someone in each city. So if you live in Miami, great, there's a race there, you could do this. And what you will be doing is going and shooting three minutes of edited footage of the city. So it might be you go and take a shot of that building, this restaurant, this theme park, and it's pretty much a travel log of Miami. Then you write a voiceover, you give it to me, no, give it to me, I pay you for it, and then I voice over your vision and include it in my pre-race video and also on my website. So it's an opportunity for you if you are any good at shooting video, and it has to be good quality, and have a good now uh, a good um well you have talent in editing and it's very simple edit i don't want any transitions i just want shot 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 and then you've got to write a voiceover over the top and i hope i can find well what have we got 23 races maybe 24 23 different people or maybe, maybe someone could do two races if they're not too far apart say belgium and the netherlands but there'll be no travel involved. All you have to do is go out and shoot it and it can be done well prior to the race. Oh, Milton Brownrig. Hello, Milton. With a big red super chat there. Why are you gonna miss my super chats? And uh, yes, Milton, thank you very much. Milton is one of my strongest supporters out of Victoria. So maybe Milton, if you did video editing and producing, I could spend some money back with you. But yes, if you're interested and you would like to put your hand up for doing this, and what you'd have to do is show me what you've shot in the past. I don't want anyone starting out. You've got to be good at it. And uh, you'd have to, and we'd come to an arrangement where we'd agree on a price. But yeah, I'm after someone in each of the F1 cities to shoot video, three minute segments, voice, not voice it, provide a script. You could even voice it over, just give me a guide track. But I'll be doing the voicing live uh, when I do the actual video. So you can email info at kimillman.com if you are interested in anything like that, if you would like to be involved in my videos. And you never know where it could end up, you know. It's not to say that down the track I need someone to travel with me the whole year. I don't know. I'm not promising anything by any means. But uh, yes, info at kimillman.com. Send me your details and importantly, show me what you've shot and edited before. Now, Ted Seven Sports Media has sent me uh, a super chat. Thank you for that. Obviously in the US, and, and some of you might be thinking, Europe's asleep, why are you doing it at this time? Well, I do this for the US. I tell you, the US, I'm doing a video on this too, why the United States is the real focus of Formula One at the moment. It's because 62% of the books that I produce, and I'll give you an example. This one here is my current bestseller. This is my best of 2022 book. It features 23 odd pictures from throughout the year. Joe on his head there, Daniel on a horse, Mick, Carlos jumping out of a flaming car, 
Max celebrating his win. Uh, Charles looking superb. Um, beautiful shot from Austria. Lewis in his great kit. Anyway, these books, 62% of them go to the US. What about Europe? 8%. So Europe is not spending money on stuff like this. With my signed picks, now this one's not one that I sell because it's not numbered and this was um, something that Sergio did for me. I give that away. But the ones that are hand signed and hand numbered are available at kimelman.com. 50% go to the US. And once again, 7 or 8% into Europe, although Britain is the exception with 14%. So Britain and the US, along with Australia, are my three main markets. Australia's open, Britain's, what are we? Uh, you're probably still asleep. Uh, if you are interested in doing that videographer role, I look forward to lots of emails. And if you don't know, if you don't do any video stuff, but you know a, a youngster like my eldest son, Tyler's pretty good at video, but he doesn't want to do this, and he doesn't live in an F1 city. If you know someone that you think would be good, tell them about it. And they can inf uh, send me an email at info at kimillman.com. Cheers for a quick water. I can tell you that it's 3.10am in Ireland. Was that Northern Ireland? Uh, yes, follow the money, says Kelly Masters. You've got to. If, if you, that's where my support comes from. I've got to tailor my stuff to that market. Do I follow cricket? No, I watched a little bit of the Boxing Day test. I haven't watched anything of the New Year test. Really, not a, not a starter for cricket, my friends. Nikon Dublin Island. That's a statement. Do I watch BBL? No, I don't watch BBL. Uh, I have no idea, really, about BBL. When do I do a Carlos sign print? Well, nothing's guaranteed yet. At the moment, uh, I've got one of Nick DeVries left. I've got about, I think, nine of Valtteri. Some uh, Alex Albon, about the same number. Some Pierre Gasly and Gunter Steiner. But I can tell you that there will be Oscar Piastri coming up and it will be a picture from his very first race. Quite a collectible. And you'll be able to get that early in the new year. Probably I'll promote it the week after that first race. And he'll be signing them, I imagine, in Australia. So we take the shot in uh, Bahrain in his first race doing something spectacular. Maybe on the podium. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? I doubt it. And uh, some people have asked me how I think he will go. Uh, do I have any better idea than you? Uh, I know Oscar, lovely kid, very quiet. I think it's going to take him a little while to get used to things. But I think by mid-year, he could be challenging Lando for uh, grid positions for the start. Now, Ryan says he goes as a guest of Team Penske to the Nashville Grand Prix.